what is up guys welcome back to the channel again welcome back to a new vlog guys so i currently i am currently here sorry i am currently here in flemington new jersey i was here last week i'm um, here in johanna farms like i said i'm sure that a lot of you guys know this location i'm gonna show you it, but i'm sure a lot of a lot of you guys know this location because this place is super super famous here in flemington um i got here like 15 minutes ago i just did my check-in i'm pulling down the reefer making sure it's at 32 degrees i'll show you guys pretty big place you shouldn't have any issues to come and park and in reality it's actually very simple to get here now on the way out you gotta be really careful because if you don't take the correct route you could you could um get confused and go into this very small town and i'm telling you by experience because it happened to me before and i'm just you know letting you guys know that you gotta be really really careful when, when it's time to leave johanna farms to go to wherever your, your, your destination is you know anyways with all that said um i hope you guys are doing good and let's start this vlog guys we got loaded finally got all of our stuff let me make sure that we are good up here and nothing is looking bad of course he didn't take off the load lugs low locks from its location he had to ram the pallet into them you know this shit that gets me mad from these people are being lazy anyways looks like we're looking good what an idiot man i feel like telling him something Most of this load is 40,000 pounds, but I don't know. We'll see. My, uh, good. My, air, my airbag gauge in the front seems good. It's on 60 now, and my tandems are back, so I can move my tandems a bit front, and um, I still should be good. Let's go inside and I'll get our paperwork.
next day here guys so i was able to make it this morning to burlington north carolina guys and it's such a beautiful day over here today it's not cold obviously but it's not hot hot like a miami heat that it's it's 90 degrees i don't know i want to say that maybe today here was like 70 something i'm not sure i didn't check the temperature but it felt like that i'll tell you that much anyways yesterday when i left my location where i got loaded um i knew i wasn't i wasn't heavy when i got loaded over there in johanna farms i knew i wasn't heavy um but i i didn't know what weight i had on my tandems and i i, I waited the truck today guys and let me tell you that i have a, a very 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 good weight if you guys are not able to see that i have in my fifth wheel 30,680 and i have in the back trailer tandem uh 28,360 and i have a gross weight of 70,140 pounds guys that means that i am literally 10,000 pounds under uh legal weight so the truck should actually spend a lot less fuel than with than if you had the actual 80,000 pounds so that's always good anyways um like i said it's a beautiful day today but we gotta you know we gotta thank god that that we're able to get up and see this beautiful day just finished doing my pre-trim inspection i cleaned all my mirrors all my glass um nothing much else to say but let's get this day started and let's see how the night takes us i want to make it to let's see let's see at least past alabama guys i want to go into mississippi hopefully we can make it there we'll see i have like 620 miles from here to where i want to make it hopefully um i can get there and make it on time Somebody more. I think somebody gave me a little nick because this right here, I know somebody gave me that before because I remember that. That was in uh, uh, not Florence, that was in Kenley, North Carolina, that right there. And then this right here, I don't remember seeing that till now. So maybe that happened while I was asleep. Oh my god. So crazy. I have my lock on. I don't know, I have to check my other videos because I don't remember seeing that. I don't remember seeing that in any other. This is why I always stay away from everybody, guys, because I am such a big truck that every time I park somewhere, I have to be careful. And a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys um, comment on other videos and other stuff that um, whenever, whenever you see drivers pull in straight ahead into a dock and they don't back it in, not into a dock, sorry, to a parking spot and they don't back it in, you guys call them rookies and stuff like that. Well, you can call me a rookie if you want. The reason why I do it, the reason why I pull in straight and I don't pull in backwards is because if somebody's gonna hit you, I rather I rather them hit me in my in my trailer than not my truck. You know, I don't know if that makes sense to you. Because if they grab the nose of your truck, no matter what truck you have, if one of those trailers grabs the nose of your truck, you're stopped. That's it. You're, you're done. You have to get your shit towed. Uh, you don't have to buy a new hood. You know, it's gonna be a big big issue. Um, so if somebody's gonna hit my my trailer. Like if they leave and they turn before time, they are most likely gonna fight with this whole wall. So the damage on that whole wall will probably be a lot less than ripping off my hood. Unless you have somebody backing in and, and do something like this, you know? For those of you out there that don't, uh, or maybe never, never, never took that into consideration, that is why I always park, or most of the time, when I'm in a small place, I go in head first because I don't want somebody that is not um, such a good driver to come and yank my nose off with the, with the size of my truck, you know? Anyways, enough of the talking, and let's get the day started to see how the night takes us.
day here, guys, and for some of you, it may look like it's, you know, like it's turning morning, and I just stopped here, but in reality, it's not. The reason why it is like this is because I've been stopped literally, literally all day, and the reason for that is because I'm only seven hours and like 20 minutes away from my destination. There was no need for me to go out and drive and just sit at the shipper because in reality, where I'm going, they would not unload you before your appointment time. So why go over there? Why stress the traffic? Why stress the scales and everything? I'm good with the weight, but you know, being a Florida truck, these uh, these uh, DOTs out here, when they see a Florida truck, they like to pick on it. So if I can avoid that, I will avoid it. Uh, yesterday, before I left, where I slept at, when I was done doing the video or that, that clip for you guys, something told me, hey, pop the hood already. I already done my pre-trip inspection. And something told me, hey, pop the hood again. So I did that, I popped my hood. And uh, I look at I look at my belts and the belt on my alternator and the belt that goes from the alternator and the AC compressor down to the, you know, the bottom pulley, I have two that go there. Both of them are missing. Guys, I don't know how to explain it. Literally, it's like somebody carved a hole in them crazy crazy thank god that i that, you know that something some, something came to my hand and said hey pop the hood and take another look so thank god that i was at a ta i went inside the shop and i was able to find one belt they called uh, a ta 20 miles down going my same direction thank god as well um and i was able to pick up the second belt there today i forgot about them i didn't change them out they're still on they're still working that's why i forgot about them um if something does happen throughout the night I mean, it sucks because I have to stop and change them, but something, the good thing about that is that it's an easy fix. You know, all I gotta do is, you know, um, you know, take off the old belts, obviously, or if they break off, I have to loosen up the alternator so I can lower, put on the belts, and then readjust it, and I should be good to go. Um, thank God, like I said, that I was able to catch that on time because the last time that that happened to me, guys, I had to call a rule service because I didn't have any other option. And the guy charged me like 550 bucks for two freaking belts, man. That was the hum of the year, you know? But um, shit, that, that happens all the time. Anyways, guys, like I said, I'm like seven hours away from my destination. Um, I'm about to head on now. Hopefully the night works. Hopefully the night takes us good. Hopefully we don't have or come across any issues. The good news is that I was able to find a load uh, picking up Sunday at 12 at noon. And I delivered eight in the morning from Dallas to San Antonio guys the rate once again was killer so why not do it so um oh and it's a dry load so like I said guys why not do it anyways so all I said let's get this day let's get the night started and let's see how everything works out tonight crazy how I slept next to a freaking farm yesterday and I didn't even notice till today in the morning when I got here it was super dark those lights weren't on and I wasn't able to see that that was a farm anyways it's always some bullshit <laughs> you know with trucking it's crazy remember I told you one of the previous clips that I had to change the belt well I get up a little earlier this morning so I can change the belts right before I go to my uh, to do my delivery and uh, they gave me the damn wrong belts when I bought them, you know, I can say it's currently it's kind kind of my fault, but really it's not because I gave him my model number, you know, like the model number, and the motor, and everything, and uh, the ones he gave me, which was this this uh, um, part number, it's longer than the ones I have. So I don't know, whatever. I got this new one here now, which is the same size as the ones I have, but it's a little thicker here. So I'm gonna measure it now to see if it fits on there. If it does fit, I currently have one. I still have to find another one. Um, look how this one is looking. I don't know if you guys can tell there. But this other one. And I don't know why. I think these buds, you know, they're they're not even they're not even that old. I don't know why this happened, but um, my pulleys are good. My pulleys are not damaged, so 
I'm not sure what happened. Anyways, let's uh, let's pop this hood open and let's uh, let's measure to see if that other one fits and at least we have one. Okay. What the hell? All right, guys. So at my uh, I am at my delivery. We cut the seal open. to leave my uh, seal here just in case they need it. Uh, open, 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 open. Yes. Look at my low locks, guys. I don't use them. <laughs> open, 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 open. Yes. Let's, let's move this back Okay guys, today looks like it's going to be a lot faster I already got my door They're already unloading me um, Obviously Walmart, you know, same stuff you Gotta pull forward, disconnect um, You know, slide your timers to the back The whole nine yards Anyways, while they are unloading me I took off my, uh, my covers in the front and I was checking the, the oil level. They're good. I don't know if you guys remember, um, I had in, uh, in one of my uh, previous videos, I told you guys that I was leaking hub oil from uh, this side of the rim of the you know, truck, sorry. Well, I remember I went back to Miami and I fixed that as well. All the levels are good, so we're good on that as well. Um, what else, guys? What else? That's about it. I'm gonna put everything back on. I'm gonna start everything. I'm gonna put all this away. I had no luck with the, sorry, I had no luck with the, with the belt, so I was, I was, I was trying to drop the trailer off for, I don't know, about an hour and go see if I can go find an auto parts and buy the belts, but I had no luck with that neither because they said that <clears throat> I cannot leave my trailer here, so uh, this way it is. Yeah, let's see how long they take and uh, Let's get it going, you know? All right, y'all. I just moved my tandems a little forward. Um, I got my paperwork. I'll make sure they're locked in place now. Let's close these doors. Look at the mess they leave here, you see? It's the type, type of things that get me mad, man. Oh, well. All right, everything looks good. I don't see any damages. At least not from here. My uh, air duct is not broken neither because I have that thing up there. That's good. All right, let me close these doors and let's go do our, our checkout. Get the hell out of here. Good morning guys so obviously this is the next day and today let me tell you that today is actually a little cold here in uh, dallas texas sunday today is sunday and it's a little cold that's why you see me wearing this sweater um anyways yesterday all i did pretty much was unload uh two miles away from here then i came straight back over here was able to find a spot again and that's pretty much it guys um what else what else what else yeah i've been here stopped ever since yesterday i just finished doing my pre-trip inspection everything is good and today now let me tell you today should be a very simple and chill day today should be easy money why is that i think i told you guys that i booked a load um from dallas to san antonio that's only pretty much like 250 miles i'm like 40 miles away from my pickup location and then from there to over there i think it's like 250 
maybe 230 miles, which is, like I said, it should be a chill day. So the game plan for today, well, first thing, I'm going to go start the truck. I'm going to give you guys a cold start. It's like 50 degrees here in Dallas today, so I'm going to give you a cold start. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pump fuel. I was going to go pump somewhere else, but the, the fuel price in the other place went up, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and pump it here that I'm already here. Um, what else? What else? Go do my pickup location on the way to San Antonio. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and stop to see if I can find a T8 or a petrol. To see if I can find the actual belt I need. I still haven't been able to solve the issues with the belt, guys. The belts are good. They're not gonna. I don't think they're gonna break down by the time I get to Miami. Yesterday I took them off. I actually checked them. Yeah, they're not in perfect condition, but I think they will last. But regardless, I'm gonna see if I can find them because if I could find them, then I'll be stress release now if i can't find them what i'm gonna do is once i get down to uh mccallan tomorrow monday i'm gonna go ahead before i get loaded before i do anything i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and, and go and find my belts because i'd rather be uh 100 sure that i have them and not risk it guys it happened, it happened to me one time um i ran out of luck i didn't have my belts and like i said they got me for it you know so i want to make sure that that doesn't happen this time around so nothing guys so all i said let me start the truck. Let me give you guys a cold start. Let's see how she starts. It's cold today, man. Super cold. People leave their trucks here, man. They leave their truck here. They leave their trucks at locations like if this was storage. It's not cool, man. Because we have other drivers that don't have nowhere to go. Here we go. Oh shit. Oh my god, I know you guys heard that, right? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, my heart dropped when I heard that clack. And it didn't do anything. Oh my god. Anyways, guys, as soon as this truck catches some air, um, let's wait, let's wait for it to catch some air, for it to warm up. Let's go pump our fuel and let's hit the road to see how that day takes us. Just like I said guys, it's gonna be a chill day. I'm actually at my location already doing my pickup. Um, I'm parked at my doors. They're actually loading me already, so it's pretty good, pretty fast. What else, what else? After I leave here, I'm gonna go to the nearest petrol or a TA to see if I can get those uh, belts replaced. Well, not replaced, to see if I can buy them so I can do it. I'm not gonna pay somebody to change my belt. Um, and uh, yeah, just head out for the day. Hopefully I can make it to San Antonio early enough so I can rest all day or well, the afternoon and so i can rest the afternoon and i can rest all night calmly without driving today is today is uh sunday so there's no need to drive throughout the day because today is a chill day guys so nothing with all that said uh let's see how long it take you and i'll keep you guys posted as soon as we're done i'm gonna hit the road check this out guys to collect my paperwork trader number 20 96 Okay, there we go. 20, 96, 3. Submit. Uh, I got everything is good. Carrier. I got go to this destination. Go to San Antonio. Blah, 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 blah. Confirm. Remember, delivery. Okay. Oh, I got to put serial number. Check this out. 1420. 
please verify your seal. 1420 3498. 1420 3498. Okay. Submit. Please sign. <laughs> Ugly ass signature. Erase it. You did good. Submit. Rate your experience. Paperwork comes out through here. Isn't that crazy, guys? Crazy, crazy. Look at that. Crazy, crazy. Wow. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm telling you, man, this technology. Technology is good, guys, and I'm gonna be honest, I totally like it, but it's killing our planet, you know, because before somebody there was somebody to do this now they have a computer so they don't have to pay anybody so that person that used to do this lost just lost their job imagine losing or taking out everybody that does all these paperworks in all the warehouses just like the tolls when when the tolls the sun pass and the pre-pass and all the stuff started to come out there it's good don't get me wrong it's good but a lot of people losing jobs because of that man it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy how technology really works. Anyways, got our paperwork. Um, let's pull forward, pull our tandems forward a bit, and um, let's hit let's hit the road. Let's see if we find a, a petrol or a pilot. No, a petrol or a TA nearby, guys. Let's hit. Let's, let's go for it. All right, guys. Here we go. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen pilots of water, guys. The Zani water. Yep. The gentleman did an awesome job loading, to be honest. Even to uh, load the actual truck was good because he didn't even, like, he didn't think it was a, a highway going in and out, you know? Yeah, let me put my low locks back in here. And uh, move my tandems forward, like I said. And let's kick it. Lock it, seal it, and let's go for it. Guys, we just dropped our trailer off right there next to the yellow truck right there uh, we have to go back to the I guess waiting spot for us to uh, you know till we get caught for them to, to uh, pick up our uh, till we get caught so we can pick up our trailer we are here at the coca-cola facility in San Antonio So I came back, got my paperwork, everything is good to go. Um, I just moved my tandems forward. I already checked back here, everything is good. I put my low my low locks in as well. Let's head out to the front gate. And uh hopefully we can make it down to my Cali in time to get loaded today as well. Okay, so I am here in Edinburgh, Texas. At the lows where I'm always at guys you guys know that every time I come down here I always come here first I didn't give you another update after I left the, the, the you know the coca-cola facility because all I did was drive and uh, it took me a while trying to book a load I actually booked it's crazy because I booked two loads for me and two loads for my dad my both loads I booked one got canceled the second one got canceled as well 
for my dad, his first load got canceled, but his second one didn't. So he had, he actually has a load uh, for tomorrow. Me, I don't have nothing. It's getting late. I tried booking something else, but I had no success doing that. So I'm gonna stay here for the night. Um, and then tomorrow, as soon as we get up, we're gonna start looking to see what comes out. Today is Monday, tomorrow's Tuesday. So that means that I'll probably get home Friday or something, we'll see. This time around, um, I am trying to go back home to Friday. I, mean, I, I am trying to go back home to Miami. I've been out, by the time I get home, I've been out for a whole month, guys. So, <laughs> it's time to go home. Once again, sorry for, other, for the late videos. Trust me now, as soon as I get home, I'm gonna try and figure something out to see how can I manage to get better service in the truck. I have before the, when, by the time you guys see this video, you're gonna see, I believe, like three more videos. So, it's taking me a very long time to upload, and every time I upload, I'm guessing that my signal is so weak, and the videos are too long that it doesn't let me, which completely sucks. Um, what else, what else? That's about it, guys. You guys have not subscribed to the channel, do so now. Helps me out, it doesn't cost you guys anything at all. If you guys have not followed me on, the, on my Instagram page, There it is guys, follow that, helps me out as well, and it doesn't cost you guys nothing at all neither. I'm gonna be doing another sticker giveaway. I'm still waiting for them stickers to get made. I had a, there was a big line, there was a big delay, things that happened, so I'm still waiting on those stickers. As soon as I get them, I am gonna be doing a new sticker giveaway. It's gonna be super simple. Um, all you gotta do is, I'll, I'll figure out what is it that you gotta do um, when it's time for that. The reason why I'm gonna do this is because the first sticker giveaway I did, there was actually um, not a lot of subscribers. Even though I gave out more than 200 stickers, there was not a lot of subscribers. Now, I have a lot more subscribers, like a lot, a lot more. And um, I, wanna, I wanna, you know, I wanna show you guys, I, I, I wanna say you know, a, little, a, little, a little token of appreciation for, for the love and for the support you guys show me on Instagram and on YouTube. So stay tuned for that as well. Once again, guys, thank you guys all so much for the love, for the support. You guys have made it this far. Don't forget to drop down your comment. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out and keep on trucking.